It was Pablo Picasso who once said, Every act of creation begins with an act of destruction. Every Michelin star meal is the remains of a plant or the flesh of an animal. Every novel printed is the product of mashed up trees and the discarded ideas that the author left behind. And that is why I must destroy this closet in my garage. To create my ideal workspace, my pièce de résistance, a monument to man's ingenuity and perseverance. Or maybe just a place to shove more of my crap. We'll see. I've lived in this house now for two years, and I feel like I'm just now starting to settle in and understand what I want to do with it. There's quite a few changes I'd like to make, and some more urgent than others. I've already done some of them, but one change I've been meaning to do for a while now is take down a large closet space in my garage. This was built by the previous owners who, if I remember correctly, had four kids and seemed to need every single inch of closet space that they could get. So they built this closet in the garage. It's a two-car garage and a pretty small one at that. So every square foot matters, especially if you're working on cars. Making matters worse now is this is a long and narrow closet. It's got two doors and a long shelf that runs across the length. Interestingly, the closet is too narrow to hold coats and jackets, so I really have no idea what the idea was here, but it doesn't work for me and it has to go. I am not a demolitions expert or an expert on how this thing was constructed. In the first place, the walls of the closet are the same kind of wood paneling used in the rest of this garage. It's really popular in New England and apparently, especially for construction in the 1980s, which is when I'm guessing this garage was built. So anyway, these panels are nailed in, so the easiest way I found to remove them was to hit them from the inside of the closet with a hammer to pop them out a bit and then pry them out the rest of the way. With the closet torn down to studs, it was time to attack the studs. This was really tricky because the entire structure was probably nailed together on the floor and lifted into place, which means that all the nails you need to pry out are actually hidden, and you can't really hit these studs with a hammer and expect them to pop out either. So what I did, and I don't recommend this to anyone watching this, was go over each stud and cut them top and bottom with a circular saw, which meant having to lift a spinning blade of death with laser beams above my head. Yeah, not the smartest move there. Thinking back to this, I probably could have just cut the studs once near the bottom and then knock them out of position and pry them down the rest of the way. And that would still leave me with good sized lumber to use on other projects too. But I wasn't using my head brain on this one. Let me know in the comments what you would have done. Another tricky part of this demo was pulling the wall structure off of the ceiling. The ceiling is entirely plaster or some other compound, and it crumbles if you just breathe on it. So I couldn't avoid making a hole in the ceiling here, 
but at least it was a small hole. As you can see, I'm still here, and the closet is not. So, uh, kludge one, closet zero. But yeah, I'm surprised that uh, I didn't kill myself in the process there. Um, you may have wondered why I was so precious about collecting all that lumber from the studs. And I can show you, I still have those right over here. This is a lot of the lumber. and. What I would like to do um, with all that is uh, actually make a workbench. So I now have this handy dandy space here. Um, I really need a nice hardwood workbench, uh, preferably built into this wall here. And I think that the lumber collected will work nicely for that. Um, in addition to the lumber over here in this pile, you also see the uh, strut channel here, this uh, galvanized steel strut channel. If you're a friend of the channel, uh, you'll note that I, I really like this stuff. Um, it's available from big box hardware stores, uh, available in a lot of places, and it's a really versatile, really strong, uh, if heavy, um, building material. And previously on this channel, I built a sim rig, a racing sim rig, out of this strut channel, and I intend to use this strut channel again to help build the frame uh, for the workbench that's going to go where the closet used to be. But wait, there's more. I'm also going to be using this strut channel and other materials to kind of clean up the wood, to plane the wood. I'm going to build a device called a router sled from the strut channel and a router that I have and some other bits and pieces and hopefully clean up some of this wood, shave off some of the gnarly bits so all the pieces are nice and flat and go together very cleanly. And hopefully that will come out of the router sled that I'm going to build. Hopefully. We'll, we'll see what happens from here. All of that to come later though. For now, I want to thank you for watching and we'll see you down the road.